Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can multiply four digit by one digit numbers and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So I want to start by building up to our four digit by one digit. And so we're going to start with something very simple, something that you learned in third grade. We'll do a two digit by one digit multiplication. And we'll see what that looks like. And then we'll kind of build up to a 3 by 1 and then a 4 by 1. So if you want to look at 32 times 5, there's multiple ways to do it. So this is the standard algorithm. You would line it up and down. Another way to do it would be if you wanted to break it up by partial products. Because what we know is that this 32 is actually 30 plus 2. So the distributive property tells us that if you multiply that by 5, what you could do is you could break apart the 32 into 30 plus 2. And then you can multiply the 5 times 30, and then multiply the 5 times 2 and add those two products. So we'll do that and see what it looks like in both situations. So first we're going to multiply this 5 times 30. So 5 times 30 is going to be 150. We know that because when you multiply uh, any number by a multiple of 10, 100, 1,000, you take the two non-zero digits, 5 times 3, and you multiply those, 15. And then you just add how many zeros there are. And that's going to be one zero, so there's your 150. Now if you take your five times two, that's 10. Let's go ahead and put it vertically here so we can see what it looks like. Looks like our answer is gonna be 160. So let's see how we would do that with our uh, regular standard algorithm. So we would say that one digit by the one digit, five times two is 10. So there's that 10 we were looking at. But instead of putting the 10 right here, you take the digit in the 10's place and you put it above the 10's number. So we put that 1 up above the 3. Now we're going to take this 5 times this 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. Remember that 3 is really 30. So we're going to put uh, 15 down here, but it's really going to represent 150. But before we put the 15 down, we have to make sure we bring that 10 in that we had from the previous multiplication. So we're going to add 5 times 3 is 15, add that 1 is 16, but since it's in the tens place, it's really 160. So that's how we do a 2 by 1 multiplication, something you've already learned. How do we do that with a 2, uh, a 3 by 1, excuse me? So let's see 324 times 6. Well, let's do it both ways here. Remember our partial products, we're going to take it 300 plus 20 plus 4. And we're going to multiply all of that by 6. So let's see what it looks like in both ways. So we're going to start this 6. Remember, we're going to multiply it by each of these components. We're going to add up those partial products. So 6 times 3. Remember, we're just going to do the non-zero digits. 6 times 3 is 18. Add your two zeros. Now we get 6 times 2 is 12. And then add your, your 0, it's going to be 120. And then 6 times 4 is just 24. So if we add this up, that's 4, that's 9. It looks like 1,944. Let's look at the standard algorithm. 6 times 4 is 24, so there's that 24. But we're going to bring that 2 up here. 6 times 12, uh, 6 times 2 is 12. There's my 120. But we're going to have to put that 2 back in there. So 12 plus that 2 is 14. And we're not going to put 14 here. We're going to put the 4 there, bring that 1 over. 6 times 3 is 18. There's my 1800. Let's bring that 1 back in. So 18, 19. So there's my 1944. So you see how we're just kind of building it one at a time. So when we get to our 4 digit by 1 digit multiplication, it should be the same thing. So 1000, let's see, 496. Let's multiply that by 3. So let's break that apart into 1,000 expanded form plus 400 plus 90 plus 6. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to multiply all of that by 3. So here are my partial products, and my total is 4,488. Let's jump straight to the standard algorithm. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry that 1. 9 times 3 is 27. Bring that 1 back in. It's 28. 4 times 3 is 12, bring the 2 back in, it's 14. And then 1 times 3 is 3, bring that 1 back in, it's 4. So we get the same thing, 4,488.